Hi, I'm Sarah Schilling, and I am the Associate Director of InterVarsity Study Abroad, which is a focused ministry within InterVarsity USA. InterVarsity Study Abroad exists to walk alongside students through what we hope will be one of the most spiritually rich times in their college careers. We not only think Jesus is excited about the opportunity students have to study in a foreign country, we think Jesus wants to use this experience to change students and the way they see the world. We have a variety of ways we help students have a Jesus-centered semester or a year abroad, but today I want to share about one way in particular, our European journeys, which are spiritual pilgrimages that range from a weekend to a week long in countries including Ireland, Italy, France, and Spain. Now, study abroad students love to travel. For the past several years, we have taken students on our journeys as a way of turning that wanderlust into an opportunity to be spiritually transformed and to renew the typical study abroad culture that is so focused on consuming as many places as possible and posting likable content on Instagram. By contrast, each of our journeys invites students to encounter God through his big story in scripture, through the faith stories and traditions of the Christian communities from that particular location, and through reflection on how God has been at work in their own story. Journeys are trips where Christian students can invite their friends from any faith background to explore God. So everyone on a journey is invited to take a next step in their journey of faith. Well, along came COVID-19, and we were obliged to cancel all five of this spring's in-person journeys. And at first, of course, we were disappointed. We thought we'd lost the opportunity for this spring's students to discover Jesus in this unique way on journey. Um, but God is not going to be held back by a pandemic. Uh, in early April, our team was invited to come up with a webinar just for InterVarsity staff. So we decided to give them a taste of Journey Ireland through a one-hour Zoom session that helped them appreciate the way that Celtic Christianity teaches us to pray consistently for those everyday and very ordinary parts of our lives. It was something staff could incorporate immediately to enrich their connection with God, and especially while stuck at home. So we had about 30 university staff join us for that webinar, and that got us thinking, how could we offer our three other journeys online? Uh, fast forward through many meetings in April, and we are truly excited by what the Spirit has led us to offer, an eight-day digital journey Spain with different options for participation. Now, under normal conditions, Journey Spain involves walking the last 100 kilometers of the Camino de Santiago, which is an ancient pilgrimage route that ends in northwestern Spain. A typical day starts with prayer and reading a psalm aloud, then walking in silent prayer inspired by that psalm. Uh, later in the day, a gospel story is read and people reflect on it together as their long walk continues. And in the evenings, community is built around the table, sometimes inviting complete strangers into spiritual conversation. Now, how on earth could we take the physicality of Journey Spain, uh, the time and silence and reflection, and the communal experience, and bring all of that online? Well, through prayer and planning, we have discovered there are at least four advantages of adapting Journey Spain to go online. And I hope sharing them will help you, too, think creatively about what God could do by adapting your camp or conference online. First is partnership. Uh, without the need for special guests to travel, it's possible to partner more widely across the International Fellowship of Evangelical Students and beyond. Uh, for Digital Journey Spain, we're inviting a professor from Fuller Theological Seminary and a German theologian to share their expertise. We're inviting staff and alumni to record testimonies. We're inviting leaders from other strategic parts of InterVarsity USA. So who could you invite to your event that may not have been possible when you planned to do it face-to-face? -face? Uh, what great teaching might your students be able to sit underneath? Um, who is someone from another country or ethnicity or a special area of training? We are a beautiful global family of Christ with diverse gifts, and your next event may be a great time to experience that in an unforeseen way. The second advantage is impact. For Journey Spain, the experience cannot possibly be the same as walking six to eight hours a day for five days straight. There are limitations, 
but the impact on students' lives does not have to be one of them. In student ministry, we always want a particular event, whether it's an hour-long Bible study or a week-long camp, to have a long-term impact. However, a camp or conference can sometimes be a mountaintop experience where the spiritual high of the event unfortunately doesn't last long back home. So what we're excited about on our online journeys is that we're showing participants how to experience that transformation and maintain it at home from the beginning. Um, Being forced to go online has caused us to really evaluate how we can equip participants with spiritual disciplines that they can use to meet with God anywhere, especially at home. The third advantage is multimedia. The world is experiencing Zoom fatigue. We didn't want to add to that more than necessary, so we have planned to get our Journey Spain participants away from their computer screens and, for the time they do spend on screen, to not feel like it's just another meeting. Uh, We have an itinerary with things at certain times, like orientation and debrief, but the most important aspect is when participants go on a daily walk of about 30 to 60 minutes on their own schedule. So we are providing audio devotionals via a simple podcast to guide their walk. Uh, We'll also have a Facebook group. Uh, Each morning, an alumni who's walked the real Camino will share a video testimony of how God met them on the journey, and they'll bless the current participants with a short prayer. We will give everyone a PDF they can use to help them journal each day or take an optional extended retreat time one day. And even though our optional events will take place via video conference, we're trying to make them more communal. So watching uh, a film together and discussing it, uh, having a cooking class followed by a dinner where everyone gets to eat together what they've made at home. So don't feel limited to producing an online camp or conference that keeps people on their screens too much. Uh, You can get creative with other apps and off-screen ways of engaging with God and with each other. And fourth and finally, we of course wanted InterVarsity staff and students to be invited on our digital Camino, but this has also been an opportunity to open wide the doors. Um, Adapting Journey Spain for online has made it possible for our financial and prayer partners to experience firsthand what we do with students. Um, For those with financial or physical limitations that may otherwise prevent them from traveling to Europe, it has made it possible to travel virtually and meaningfully to another country. Uh, Just like on our in-person journeys, we have seekers and skeptics joining us, uh, this time more than usual, and that's likely because the requirements of participation are low and meeting online may feel less imposing. Um, And we can accommodate more people online. An in-person journey is typically limited to a dozen people and is much harder to recruit for. Uh, As of today, we have over 100 people signed up. And overall, we are building a greater following of people who will experience something online with us now, who may be more likely to participate again in the future, to pray for us, or to partner financially in ministry. So it's not just this one event, but we are building exposure to what God is doing in our ministry. Um, And speaking of partnering financially, we decided to ask for an optional donation for Journey Spain, uh, the digital version, and we currently have nearly $3,000 pledged. What's great is that this money will go toward sponsoring students for in-person journeys once we're all traveling again. So I hope these four advantages encourage you. May the Lord bless you as you get creative in adapting camps, conferences, and the rest of student ministry. Um, If you'd like to talk more about adapting ministry events, or if you've ever liked to join InterVarsity Study Abroad on a journey, whether digital or face-to-face one day, you can email us at studyabroad at intervarsity.org. God bless.